This one is short and sweet. You know, a couple minutes. Once you get to share this with everybody, I'll try to cross post it on my YouTube channel, The Good Doctor. Look, guys, you know, you know it. I know it. We all know it. This administration, not even just Biden, he gone. The man is gone. He has checked out. No kidding. We've all known it. Everybody that knows him knows it. Joe Biden knows it. The entire Democrat leadership knows it. Military leadership knows it. His doctors know it. His sycophants know it. Everybody knows it. He is not up to par. He will never be up to par. He'll never be any close, anything close to it. He was like this from the beginning. This is why he campaigned from his basement. We all know that. That's number one. We know it. We've all known it. We've all known it from the beginning. It's not news to us because we focus on reality. We're grown folk. Second, we know this administration, not just Biden, all of them. Harris, all of his generals. Look, if they're generals and they haven't spoken up publicly by now, they're not willing to put their bars on the line, they're not willing to put their stars on the line, they're eagle. No. They don't need to stay. Our CIA leadership, not the operators. Hey, man, I know the operators. I know, I know the people out in the field doing the job. They can do the job. But the leaders, the political leadership, nope, they're gone. FBI, gone. They knew it. They knew Biden was gone. The people that covered up Hunter and all that mess to get this man elected, you know, I know, everybody knows this administration is absolutely not capable. The entire administration, cabinet all the way through. They can't keep us safe at the border, and they're not going to. They can't keep us safe overseas, and they're not going to. Any idiot knows, any idiot, I mean true blue idiot, knows you don't close Bobber. Now they've got the biometrics, which are uh, between 5,500 and 7,000 machines, which they can go house to house or keep them on and they're portable. They can, uh, oh, you collaborated. Boom, boom, you're gone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's, cause, let's call this what it is, treason. This administration, the entire administration, including the military leadership, including the military leadership, has committed treason. You know it. I know it. Anybody with half a brain knows it. You don't even need a third of a brain. That's a fact, folks. That's a fact. They've committed treason by giving up the names of operatives, agency operatives, and also uh, special operatives from the Afghan people. People that served alongside of us. People, people whose family... Even American soldiers who are there now with their families, they're American soldiers. They're there with their families. They're Afghan. They, they believe so much in what we did. Many of them rose to ranks of staff sergeant in the American military. We've given them up. There's no excuse. The equipment, the aircraft, they gave them up. They keep saying, all of them keep saying, no one could have predicted no one could have predicted that the fall of the government would happen that fast. No one could have predicted that they ran. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's a 100% lie. Oh, well, we were bound by the Trump thing. They don't mind going over the Trump. Anything that has the name Trump on it, they overdo it, no matter, overturn it, no matter what. Don't want to hear that. First of all, the Trump plan is nothing remotely, not even remotely like this. We're giving up human beings. We just shipped home the bodies of, of our heroes. And I'm, I'm ticked off about it. The question is, what are we going to do? The whole administration has to go. They've all committed treason. Every single one of them. And they all have to go. Call it what it is. Use that language. 
in your social media posts, in your letters to your Congress people, which you should be writing. You should be making those calls in your in, in any any elected official all the way up the chain. From dog catcher to president. Treason. You have committed treason. No one could have predicted it. No one could have predicted We all predicted it. Give up Bagram with everything there? Are you insane? You committed treason. You've armed our worst enemy of all times. No, it's the ISIS K. I don't want to hear that ISIS K crap. They're all the same. They're all the same. We stop it first by pummeling, pummeling our elected officials with letters and calls every week. Every week. Boom, 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 every week. This mess that's happening in this administration is nothing short of treason, number one. It is the next thing would be, I, I think, without a doubt, egregious incompetence. Egregious. You stay on them like stink. Okay, I got to pick another one. I want to say white on rice. Can't say that anymore. Ugly on an eight. Whatever. We can't give up. You got to stop wallowing. Time to start fighting for those folks, those women and men, those heroes that were sent to their death, folks. That that was a death sentence. Having served in the military, you take chances, you know. But when you have when you have an administration like this, that does exactly what would result in your death. Oh, this is treason. When they give up your names and even your biometrics, that's treason. When they give them, when they give them Apaches and and Humvees and MRAPs and 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 millions of rounds of ammunition, all kinds of munitions, that's treason. Let me ask you one quick question. Maybe think about it. Okay, they didn't keep Bagram open. It has two runways instead of one. It has two. It's 20 miles at least out in the middle of nowhere from uh, from Kabul. Why not keep that open? You do twice, if not three times the flight. But okay, they, they made a massive mistake. Why not bomb the living crap out of that aircraft, out of the MRAPs, out of the equipment, out of the people assembled there, bomb them to sand? Then you make this administration responsible for every dime. Every dime we lost, you make them responsible. Every flippin' penny. Republicans in Congress, you immediately begin high crimes and misdemeanors against the entire administration. It is legal, it is constitutional, and it is doable. 86% of Democrats say that we should have gotten the people out first and that we shouldn't leave until we do. 87% of Republicans said the same. Time to strike is now. Go hours now. Get off the X. Make it happen. Say, well, I've written letters. Nothing happened. Keep writing letters. Keep making phone calls. Social media is not fighting. It's an echo chamber. Most of us have friends like us. They think like us. We're not convincing anybody. We're pretty much on the same team. Now, if you've got a rhino or a, or a, somebody that's just, you're not ever going to have any impact on them, Agree to be friends if you can. If not, just delete them. You're wasting your time. You're filling up your time getting angry about stuff that will make no difference in your life and the lives of our service people all over the world. We are more in more danger now than we have ever been in our entire lives. We are in far worse danger than before 9-11. Yes. And who did it? The Democrats. You say, well, that's so partisan. I don't care. You can say I'm... Um, small-minded or bitter or whatever. I've been telling America and the world through every broadcast I've ever done that the Democrats are a danger to freedom and liberty. They are treasonous. Adam Schiff, treason. Uh, uh, I don't even like saying her name. Nancy Pelosi, treason. 
Um, just so many. Uh, she's been there 150 years. Feinstein, treason. She had a she had a spy, a Chinese spy, working for her for all those years. Nope. Swalwell, treason. Be done with it. Call it what it is. Use the proper vernacular. Use the right words. Don't use their words. Use the right words. Use the true words. Treason. Treason. When you write to our Republicans, our leadership, you write the same thing to them that you do to the Democrats. It is time for you to act, and if you don't, we will absolutely remove you from office, and you will be treasonous as well because you didn't do anything. You say, well, the military, you were in the military, Dr. Sean. You, you know, they they have to do what they're told by the president. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. And that one lieutenant colonel out of Lejeune, Jacksonville, he put everything on the line. Good on him. Good on him. That's what a heroic individual is. That's what a patriot is. It's time for us to have their backs. Get on it, America.